Everything looks good from here. Isn't one of mine. My suspicions were correct. This lab is not one of mine. I knew it! Schmechter has been spying on me this whole time. <laughs> Classic Schmechter. Now, what do we have here? Standard ominent security door? Ha! <laughs> Child's play. No offense, of course. It's now or never. Are you ready? Okay, let's get Burgle on the line. Hello, this is Burgle Science Lab. Burgle speaking. Could I interest you in some grills? Burgle, I need you to hack into an ominous security door for me. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Oh, Dr. Tully, I, uh, had one. Entering Vulcan protocol mode. Decoding manual password reset at ominous terminal K321B. Stand by. Hacking. 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 Still hacking. Perhaps if you had replaced that grilling function with something more useful, we would not be waiting all day for... I'm in! Username, Schmechter D. Password, Schmechter D. Director. Transmitting. Why, thank you, Burgle. Your efficiency never ceases to amaze. What's on your mind? Schmechter is up to something. His fingerprints are all over the yard. what we can find.
So the lab rats have finally reached the end of the maze. And not alone, I see. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes as always, Dalton. You gutless coward! Why don't you meet us here? Face to face! Poor, poor Wendell. Lost your job, Trudy's left you, took the kids too, left you with nothing but your work. At least I'm not experimenting on children! Oh, but isn't that just what you've been doing? Hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself? You were pathetic before I fired you. Look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. Oh, yes, of course, like in the motion pictures. Is that the role you think I play, that of the villain? Please, too simple, too obvious. I never planned for this when I was brought in to clean up Wendell's mess, but I did not shy away from the task. Not when I realized the magnitude of the opportunity, if properly handled. The lucrative applications were countless. Despite what my former colleague might have told you, it was certainly not by choice. I hypothesized that adolescents would be resistant to the effects of reasoning. The young have incredibly strong immune systems, after all. Couple that with the intense hormonal growth, and I was pleased to learn that you are not only resistant, but immune to said syndrome. Once that connection was made, what choice did I have? So you did find a cure because of the children you abducted. Of course. I'm not a failure like you, Wendell. Yes, I abducted those children. I admit it freely. Not that anyone will ever know. Obviously, I can't allow any of you to leave this facility alive. Shrinking inanimate objects will change the world, no doubt. The shipping industry alone will never be the same. That was the extent of Wendell's imagination. But people... The governments of the world will bankrupt each other for a mere taste of this technology. Oh, come now. Although I won't mind the fame, the power. The respect for Director Dalton Schmechter. But in the end, my little rat, yes, it is always about the money. No one will sponsor your spirit of invention without raw profit. A simple elementary concept. Something you never understood, Tully, with your idealism and your raw science. You're a dis. Grace to the profession, Dalton! And you are a deluded fool! This is why I never had kids. Ha, ha, ha. The hypothesis was developed. The experiments were conducted. The results have been analyzed. Schmexer, you son of a... The conclusion concluded. All that remains is to take out the trash. Farewell, my little rats. Stay right there and this will all be over before you know it.
I could devour a Billy Hawk right about now. <laughs> oh, it seems you've been a busy, busy bee, Dalton. But now I'll know everything about what you've been up to. Who knows what secrets Ominent is hiding? What's on your mind? The curse of covalent spacing reduction. My curse. Those aphids look like they have things to do and people to see.
That's interesting. Are you ready to get out of here? Of course you do. What do you need to know? Thank you for your concern, but I don't deserve it after all you've suffered on my account. Don't worry about me. Whatever will be, will be. I understand. Thank you for everything that you've done. I'll never forget it. Any more of these confounded follow up surveys? Adequate? Now, listen to me. This is your manager speaking. We're about to fire up the spacer. I need you to keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. Wait, you are leaving? Have you been dissatisfied with my service? Don't worry. I'll come back for you when things calm down in the real world. <sighs> Affirmative, Dr. Tully. I will stay behind. Again. But I need you to keep an eye on things down here while I'm gone. Regional Science Manager Burgle? Regional Science Manager? But, Dr. Tully, does that mean we will be franchising? Burgle, this is a big responsibility. In recognition of your work ethic and commitment to outstanding customer service. Really? My circuits are fizzling, Dr. Tully. Have no fear. Regional Manager of Averbal will not let you down. This is it, my young friend. When you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast, will you? <clears throat> okay, then. Would you do the honors of flipping the switch? For science! And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers, about Omni. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmachter, just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete Willow, Max and Hoops tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot, you can tell me. I'm expecting big things from all of you. Life's getting back to normal around here. It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit, either. <laughs>
Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together. I'm not easily impressed, but I'm impressed. Science! It's the end of the game, the end of the game. You did it, baby, yo, I said you did it. You finished the campaign. It's over, it's done, time to celebrate. Yo, you can sit back, relax, let the credits roll through. No more having to eat the magic mushrooms or get eaten by a giant spider. Yo, now you're through. Bam, take it easy, take a load off. Let me take care of you and let the credits roll. did it you did it you finished it it's over baby now it's done and done i said we had fun but it's time to go you can get up off the couch and take a little poop and meanwhile baby obsidian is gonna display the credits of the people that worked up on the game a whole lot of talent and work and blood and sweat and tears went into the production this year baby you gotta stand up appreciate what they did i said i appreciate it Again, I must reiterate, the game is over and through. There's nothing else to do, yo. Yeah, so the the game is actually, I don't know what else you're expecting, but that's, it's, that's it. That's it. The, it's done. It's, it's over. There's really, it's not like a bonus sequence or anything. This is just, this is it. Um, I guess if you wanted, you'd probably stick around for the credits. Yeah, I'd probably...